Welcome back, my friends. Today, we're going to be discussing the ballistic knife. Before we do that, 22 veterans a day in this country take their own lives. Guys, girls, I love you. If you're a veteran, if you've served in the military, you most certainly have a place here. We're with you. Do not fight this fight alone. I'll put some links in the description below that if you need help, you can go and those folks will help you. I also put it uh, for anybody. I put a uh, link or a, I put the phone number to the National Suicide Hotline. Why do you do that, Skeb? Because they're professionals. I can tell you about my experiences. I can tell you about this and that. I've never been in the military. I've ne I'm not a veteran. Never been in law enforcement. None of that. What I'm saying is my life's experience is probably won't help you. I'm not a professional. Use the links. Use the number. But know this more than anything, veterans. You have a place here. You are loved and you are respected. In May, we're doing a raffle to raise money for veterans' uh, causes, hopefully, whatever cause. If it's a veteran's cause, and we'll get into that some Saturday. Vets, I love you. We back the blue. Now, this, this month, these past few weeks, I've been shouting out corrections officers. They do a thankless job, but we back all law enforcement. We support Leo. How do you do that, Scab? We don't break the law. And finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. Well, in 1986, I think, 85 or 86, somewhere in there, a movie come out called Commando with Arnold Schwarzenegger. It was kind of in his prime, and he was hitting a lot of movies. And he shoots a dude with one of these. I think his might have been compressed. It's been 30 years since I've seen the movie. It really had. I was a big Schwarzenegger fan. This is the ballistic knife. Very simple to operate. There's a spring in here. Okay. You remove this pin, kind of like a grenade pin. Pop that. And you pull the trigger and it fires. And we're going to go outside in about three or four minutes. And I'm going to shoot it a couple times. What I want to talk to you about is a couple things. One, this, this plays in big. Y'all remember a month or two ago, a couple months ago now, I did a video and I was talking about knowing the laws in your state, knowing the federal laws. This knife is federally banned. It, 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 it is the Ballistic Knife Prohibition Act of 1986. Now, some would say and have said, well, Scott, you know, they repealed a lot. No, what they did is they took off, they changed the law on automatic knives. That did not include this knife. You need to be aware of that. Florida. It's illegal to own, possess anything illegal. Texas, I'm not sure, but before somebody's like, ain't nothing illegal in Texas, the hell it ain't. Trench knives, knives with brass knuckles, are illegal in Texas. Don't believe me, just ask the dude that just got three years for putting, and I had one of these at one time. It was one of gas station knives, I think I sold it. Gas station knives with the, with the brass knuckles and he had it in his back pocket going to work, got got pulled over, got arrested, and he's doing three years. You can look that up. Arizona, it's legal. Ohio, illegal. Michigan, legal. And California, take a guess. Now, I believe you can have it in Tennessee. Now, I asked d and I asked Richard, and I asked a couple guys, what trumps what? Does federal trump state? The way that I understand it is this. Like, if I get pulled over or something with this, and I won't because this will not leave the house. Um, I get charged with a federal thing. I believe the states, and I say it's legal in those states. Let me put it this way. It's not illegal, okay? So I know that you don't want to get caught leaving the state with it. I would just say this to you guys because I'm not going to say anything here and debate it. And somebody said, you know, Constitution is Constitution. That. I'm not into that. I don't. Whatever. I'm, and I'm not saying I don't care. I'm just saying that's not a debate we're going to have here to take up too much time. We're going to shoot this thing a couple times. I'm going to show you what it can do. Can it kill you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the problem I have with it, when they went to ban this thing, there was a certain senator who said that this was the new preferred weapon of drug dealers. I knew a bunch of drug dealers in the 80s. They, they didn't. Another senator said it can kill you from 30 feet. Well, we're going to see. 
Now, I think my guy, I did a, I did a video on this before, and it was called uh, Ballistic Knife, It's Illegal, Yes, I'm Aware. The, the title, it, it's kind of cool because it's got six or 7,000 views, which I know for some people that's one day, good for you. It's my most viewed video. You can tell a lot of people didn't even watch the damn video, and they just went based on, oh, you don't care. I fought for this country, you don't care. I, I don't care for idiots. Watch the video and see what I said. And everybody here knows I love veterans. I, I've spent over 450 something videos. I've got 510 now and, and probably closer to 500 videos shouting out bets. So that's not what I'm saying. Just don't come at me with some stupid shit. Okay? You, you, yeah. Ballistic knife. Comes off. Fire it. Now, I do want to do a, a demonstration too with this on. Because, honest to God, I think this would probably do a little more damage to you. Not than the knife, but if somebody's heavily clothed or something like that, or you're in a situation where, uh, I don't know, I don't even know, you don't want to use this for self-defense. Let me just say that. And we're going to shoot it some. I did want to bring up the law, and I do think it's important, guys, that we know our laws, we respect our laws. Now, again... I'm not going to debate you on what's constitutional, what's not. I don't have enough concern to look all that up, okay? I'm just telling you this. If you get pulled over with it, you're screwed. Now, before we go outside, real quick, I'm going to show you what's in my pocket. Today, we're doing a Mac Daddy Carry. We're going to do my four Macs. We're going to do my four Mac Scout. Now, I'm sending D-Bads 4 Max out tomorrow. I got a bunch of stuff to mail tomorrow. Uh, Garen Pandalo, my guy, I need you to send me an email with your address now. I noticed you commented on the video earlier. Thank you. I always enjoy the comments. Thank you. And I appreciate the support. But I want to get this knife to you. Um, the other two I'm carrying today, and I've, I've got a work knife in the truck. Well, the other two I'm carrying today is my Medford Praetorian T and S90V, awesome knife, and my Ultimate Hunter. Now, I took a picture of this, and this is from my guy Eric Hussein. He, had, he said, Scab, is that damaged or is that a laminated blade? And the truth is, man, this thing falls under the hashtag we use. I've just beat this thing to death. Now, it's still sharp as shit, and it's, I love this knife, and if you're looking for a good budget knife, this Ultimate Hunter Cold Steel sub $100, not a bad option. And let me say this, guys, I don't represent any companies. I don't make a dime off anything. So I just, I like the knife. This is, uh, this is the, the, the little, this is the child, I guess, of the 4Max and 4Max Scout. I don't know. There's uh, the 4Max, the 8010, the 4Max Scout, and then this one. And I listed those in, in price order. Okay, the 8010 is a little more than the Scout. Um, and I like the 8010. I really do. So that's what I'm carrying today. And I've got my Obaki. Now, real quick, I watched Joe with uh, Steel Forged and Fire Sword Enthusiast. Joe's a big fan of this knife. Now, he's got a different, I think, I don't, it's not a clip. He might have a drop point or a spear point, but the Voyager. Now, while we're talking about illegal knives in Florida, this is an illegal knife without a concealed carry. A concealed carry, you can carry this. The law in Florida says four and a half inches, okay? My guy, Josh, who I love, he did all my ink, good brother of mine, he's the guy I told y'all. He got pulled over on his bike. He had this, he did not pull it. He did he wasn't, it was in his pocket. He had one just like this, and they are trying to give him two years and they're pretty adamant about it, okay? So know your laws. That's the point of this video, guys. Know your laws, okay? Well, they won't do that to me. Well, I'm telling you, I've said this before. I've heard people say, oh, two years ain't nothing. Go do it, hoss. Get on it, son. Let me see what you got, Billy Badass. I don't want to do two days. You hear me? Two hours. I've said before, I've been arrested and I have spent a night or two in jail. I ain't done no time. I don't want to give off that vibe. Just like I ain't been in the military. But I can tell you this, I don't want to go back 
I don't want to lose my freedom, so I'm going to know my laws. I love this night. The other law that I want y'all to know, and this is Florida, I'm speaking to Floridians, and there's other states that have this law. This is what you have to watch, guys, okay? This is where your attitude, how you carry yourself, your demeanor, and being a grown-ass man comes into play. Now, I'm not talking about some fake crap, and or woman, being an adult. It's also up to the officer's discretion. If you, In Florida, you can have a three-inch blade, but if he thinks you have criminal intent or malice, that's a charge. That's bullshit, Scott. Well, I didn't write the law, guys. Don't get mad at me. I'm just telling you. So, that's what I told y'all the other day. Let me, let me just rehash this real quick. When we talk self-defense, and we don't on this channel, y'all know we don't, I'm just going to give you a definition of what self-defense is not. Self-defense is not going out, talking shit, getting your wig split, and then you deciding you're going to pull your knife. Because, shocker of shocker, sensei lied to you. And you can't fight a lick. See, you can either fight or you can't. Period. You can get mad at that, you can argue that, you can do whatever you want. But that's the truth. You can train and you can get better. Scabber, you saying you can... No. No. I'm not talking about crawling in a ring with rules and a referee. I'm talking about a fight. A street fight. You either can or you can't. Period. So, if you go out or here's another tip, guys. If you're dating a chick and she dresses like a stripper 24-7, you may want to check that. And I'm not talking about telling her to do anything. That ain't none of your business. She can dress like she wants. I'm telling you, quit dating her. Girls, if you date a guy who every time somebody waves at you and smiles, the dumbass you're with flips out, you may want to check that. And I'm not telling about what to do. I'm talking about getting on down the road. This 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 is equal opportunity right here, son. Fair is fair. You hear me? And guys, if you're one of them guys who, oh, look, my old lady, shut up. If she's pretty, you know, a, a double take ain't hurt nobody. Somebody stares and disrespectful, that's one thing. If somebody smiles, how you doing? Remember courtesy. All right, well, that's tangent. Let's go outside. I just wanted to warn you on these things. You can, with a concealed carry, carry this in Florida. Anybody that, tell, that does this, oh, well, I think that's the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life. Well, you can have a knife scab if it's not bigger than your palm. Well, what if a kid, that guy's got kid palms, got them little kid hands? No, no. Know the length of the knife. In Florida, four and a half inches concealed, unless you have a concealed carry. This will never... Well, I can't say that. Concealed carry will not help you with this in the state of Florida. All right, let's go outside and shoot at a time or two. See what we got. Love y'all. Come on. Sometime today. Come on, Scab. Don't let it whip you, son. That technology will get all over you. Well, guys, the, the main thing before we get going here, there's the ballistic knife in all its glory, is, is the one thing I want to stress to you is just know your laws. Uh, that's all I can do. That's all I can tell you. Know your laws and practice with your stuff. Now, you see right there, that's a pretty good shot. But we're 15 feet away. I pre-marked each spot that we're going to. Um, we took a 15-foot shot. Now, here's the other thing. This is why this ain't good for self-defense. I'm a strong dude. I really am. Um, and it's not easy putting that in. I, Megan is incredibly strong. And I don't know that she could do it. Now here we're five feet away. It sticks. You see the quickness. You see the pop. You see the fire. It went in about half an inch. That is an old uh, red oak stump from the woodland of West Virginia. Uh, big thanks to my guy Richard for bringing it down to me. I love this thing. Now we do the Donnie B all day drop test. Why? Because I want to show you the balance of this knife. Now here, I'd probably throw this thing harder than I've, I've thrown anything. Some good hard downward throws. I'm, I'm going to tell you like this. I've got to spend about an hour or two sharpening it up. 
but on its own, on its own volition, just, you know, as a regular knife, it's not a bad little knife. It is a fighting knife. That's all it can ever be used for. You see that? Perfect balance. It goes in. Now, a little three-foot shot right there. Somebody brought up the point, didn't think it could penetrate a heavy winter coat. I, it may not. It may not. I'll do some more trials. Maybe this weekend, while we're getting the truck fixed, and I'm dicking around over at Richard's, uh, I'll get him to put on a heavy winter coat, and I'll shoot it at him a couple times. We'll see how that goes. I don't know. I'm not going to do that because he would shoot me so quick I couldn't blink. So here's the thing, guys. There I am again. Now I'm walking around, modeling my shirt, looking good, looking as only Scabber can look. Boom, right there. I did that with the cap on. I think you could probably cause a good bit more problem, you know, if you were hunting or something and, you know, now if you shoot something with it that's too big, a bear or something, they probably won't take it and whip your ass. So just be mindful. Well, guys, I love y'all. God bless y'all. This was just a video of awareness and letting you know. My guy Mikey says it best. Everything's going to be all right. I'm scabbed. You're not. And I'm gone, son.